Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make a 12 volt UPS circuit for your internet device and other 12 volt appliances. I used Easy EDA free online software to make our circuit diagram and PCB design. Here is the circuit diagram of our project and this is the PCB design. After making the PCB design, I ordered it on JLC PCB. To order these PCBs from JLC PCB, download free Gerber files from video description and log in to jlcpcb.com. Then upload your Gerber files here. After uploading Gerber files, you can change some PCB parameters from here. You can select any color from here for the same price. And now from here you can order 5 pieces of 10 by 10 cm PCBs in just $2 only and 10 pieces of 10 by 10 cm PCBs in just $5 only. So guys after a few days I received our circuit boards from JLC PCB. Let me open the box and show you our new circuit boards. As you can see the build quality is really nice as always. I choose black color this time which looks really cool. So guys here are all the components that I will use to make our this 12 volt UPS circuit. You can find the list of all these components and all detail about them in video description. Now let me solder all these components to our new printed circuit board. So guys our component soldering is now complete. Basically the circuit is very simple. This section is used as a cutoff circuit for the battery charging. It consists of a triple 5 timer IC and a relay setup. We can control the battery charging voltages by turning these two potentiometers. This relay is used to transfer the load from main to battery in case of power failure. Now we will need to calibrate the circuit. For calibration we will need an LED with 1 kilo ohm resistor in series. Now connect the positive wire of the LED to the pin number 3 of IC and the negative wire of LED to the ground terminal of the circuit. Now connect the battery terminals of the circuit to a variable DC power supply and set the voltages at 13 volts. Now turn the LSP potentiometer until LED lights up. Now 
Now set the voltages at 15 volts and turn the USB potentiometer until the LED lights off. Now this LED should be turned on at 13 volts and should be turned off at 15 volts. Now we will need to connect a 12 volt lead acid battery here and a 15 volt transformer here and from here we can get 12 volt output for our internet device. So guys here is the final setup for our UPS circuit. This transformer is now charging the battery and powering this device. Now I am going to disconnect the main power supply. You will notice that the device will be automatically transferred to the battery without any delay. And now the device is working on battery. And in case of power resume again, device will automatically transfer to the main power supply. And now the device is working on main power supply again. So guys that's it for this UPS circuit. All necessary information about this project you can find in the video description. I hope you will like it, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.